So that was one sequence or one pattern? Um, uh, the way that I made this beat is I, I, I mainly worked with the defaults. And the way this uh, MPC works is for each sequence, by default, it's two bars long. So um, for this beat, I created multiple sequences. So like sequence, sequence one, two bars. And if there's any change ups that I would do, I would do it on, a, on another sequence. And two, as a shortcut, what I would do is like I would copy and paste what I did so I don't have to do the same thing twice or you know, trying to save some time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any other questions? All, all your filtering and EQing on the baseline was on the MPC? Um, for me, uh, no. Uh, I would do some, but it's just mainly stock filters, which are, which are pretty good, but um, depending on the type of sound that I would edit. Um, for bass lines, uh, specifically, I would use a computer, uh, a computer program that has a I guess a virtual EQ or a plugin. And that, that's much easier for me. Uh, like other than that, I would use like a DJ mixer. Like some DJ mixers, they would only have like highs and lows in a general sense. But I found a DJ mixer that has a three band EQ. So it's highs, mids, and lows. So that, that would, I would use that for certain things. But, but computer, f for me, it's, it's easy because for a plugin, you can create multiple EQs. So instead of just using one EQ and just like killing the treble and the bass or, or the high frequency and the mid frequency, I can multiply that by five and <laughs> render it all at one time. So yeah, so it's like, so this, this bass line right here is just multiple, just killing it pretty much. Just like all the highs and mids are just stripped. It's just straight, straight low. Uh, there's a, a multimedia drive here. Um, originally, the, the MPCs, uh, MPC 2000, uh, 2000XL, they came with uh, floppy drives, floppy disk, and, and then they started releasing Excels with zip drives. Uh, they can either be pre-installed, depending on where you buy it from, or you can install it yourself if you, if you buy the internal drive. No, but, but a lot of people use external because it has the SCSI, SCSI input. Um, uh, other than that, uh, this, this MPC uh, is pretty new. It was actually the last um, machine that was at the store because it got discontinued and I got lucky. Uh, I had to like make a phone call to VST in, in California. And um, I got lucky because um, they stopped making these, and it was uh, upgraded with the eight outputs, and um, it has a this uh, media drive. And the the disc that I, that I saved to uh, that I saved my beats to is a compact flash. So th this is the disc, and you can use it with a computer or other machines, or like for your camera stuff like that. So this is about this is one gig. Yeah, so the, the, the amount of space on this is equivalent to like 10, 10 100 zip disks, so <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, it, this is good. I, I like this because I have, a, I have a desktop computer that has a, a media drive. So I just I go from my computer to the MPC and even to the 500. And, uh, MPC 1000 has a, a flash drive too, and 2500. All the newer models have, have a flash drive. Okay, so I'm gonna get into this next beat, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna do some sequence structure, and I'm gonna create a two bar sequence So the sounds that I'll be working with are whoops. 
So these are the drums. There's like two different hi hats, uh, two different snares, two different kicks. And it's an 808 uh, bass kick. Crash. Some horns. And. So I'm gonna put this all together in a two bar sequence. Uh, I'll try not to mess up. <laughs> so this sequence is set to 101 beats per minute and you hear that ticking, that's the metronome that, that you would record at. So I'm gonna be trying to be in rhythm to that metronome. So that's the drums, and I'm going to add some samples to that. All right, I was kind of messy, but that, I think you kind of get the idea, like recording track for track and step by step. So um, this is a basic two bar, two bar sequence. So on track one has the hi-hats, and track two is the snares, track three is the kicks, and then track four is the 808, track five, the horns, track six, the crash. So that's a basic sequence structure for two bars. Um.